The goal for today is finally that side. Let me take you guys over there and show you. That stream and pond are gonna sit kind of right where that excavator is sitting. That pond's gonna sit right there. And then there's gonna be a nice wide waterfall dumping into this stream right here. I'll have to say this is definitely one of a kind water features. Yeah. We've built a lot of water features over the years, but Al, the customer here said he wanted to be surrounded by water. He said they never vacation. When they vacation, they come down here, they do exactly what the two of you guys are doing, just kind of sitting back and yep. relaxing. <laughs> and he said, when we vacation, we sit down here and I just want it to be over the top. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Hey guys, it's Jack with Team Aquascape again. We are back out here starting my voice. I know I'm uh, coming off of a weekend and pretty sure I'm losing it. So we'll see how the rest of this week goes. But it's Monday and it's a new group of CACs. So we got these guys down from Tennessee, New Hope Aquascapes. So how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. So do you guys want to introduce yourselves real quick? I'm Clay Goat. I'm the owner of New Hope Aquascape. Oh, and then you want to introduce everybody else to everybody on YouTube? Well, the people that are actually working, that's Draven right there, Draven Green. That's Mike Moffat. And then we got day out here so we are cruising along when we got here earlier we were just at that waterfall all the way down there and we were able to slam all this rock in here so as you can see we were kind of cruising along it's right after lunchtime and we're just going to be setting our last waterfall up there so i'm hoping we might have water running by the end of the day fingers crossed i know there's a lot of work to be done we still got a lot of edge work we still got to set our spillway and run our three inch line coming up from our pump vault so figured i'd give you guys a quick update and show you guys what's going on so stay tuned back out here and I got some good news. We finally finished that left side that we were talking about for the last, I, I think it's been two weeks since we've been out here. So let me spin you guys and show you what we did. So the water cleared up pretty nice overnight. And so you guys saw all this earlier in the video. We've had this going for quite a bit. We even have good old Hanson out here. He's out here helping us. We have both crews out here like before, but yeah, let me show you guys. So we were able to finish this entire side yesterday. We had everyone out here, so it was nice having all hands on deck. We were able to finish 100% this side. We were able to throw some plants in, got our steps in, and then we were able to grade out this entire side yard. So now you can come in and throw some seed down and then plant this entire hillside like he was planning on doing. So the goal for today is finally that side. Let me take you guys over there and show you. So right now we're working on setting these steps. We came in here, there was some steps that were existing before. We pulled those out yesterday and they were just unlevel. So we're gonna come in, re-level those steps out kind of push them a little bit more up to the deck over there so that way we can fit our stream and uh, pond in that stream and pond are gonna sit kind of right where that excavator is sitting that pond's gonna sit right there and then there's gonna be a nice wide waterfall dumping into this stream right here with with this cool little bridge going into the pond
right now, you guys can't see, but we were able to actually set our spillway stone back behind this liner here. So we have a nice wide waterfall dumping down into this stream here, kind of twists and turns, dumps down here. So there's gonna be a lot of movement. I just love how this has turned out. We have a nice piece of driftwood all in here. I mean, we incorporated a lot of pieces in the newer sections of this previous water feature. But as you can see, Udi is doing a great job. We're digging away, hogging away all this dirt, dumping it back behind that bio falls and flaring out that entire berm back there. This pond's gonna look awesome. We have some gorgeous rock to work with. I mean, these are some big pieces. I mean, it's only gonna be an eight by 11 pond and we're gonna have some, I mean, look at how big that rock is over there. It's gonna just look awesome in this area. So how we determine our water line was this spill stone here. As you guys have known in our previous videos, it's gonna act as a negative edge dumping into this pond. So that negative edge is kind of like a skimmer, how we normally have on an eight by 11 pond. And then it pretty much allows that water. Pretty much um, um, it's like yeah. a, uh, um, it's simulating a- See, uh, now you guys know I'm bullied. Any more words over there? The Jack who's holding the camera, turn the camera out so they know it's you. It's actually you. It's me. Has done a fantastic job on this project. My, kind of my first full day out here. Turned out incredible what they did over there. What's neat is Jack's been able to take a group of CACs he's never worked with before and really bird dogged this project and I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the weathered limestone, moss rock. It was already a very cool backyard, but it's turned into like the ultimate showcase, aquatic showcase back here. And this pond up here is just kind of the finishing icing on the cake, whatever you want to call it. The cherry on top, is that what people say? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Cherry on top. But I think you've done a great job, Jack. So people out there, just know that I'm not always giving them a hard time. I do give them a compliment every once in a while. Coming from Chris, it means a lot for me, so. The lop. Oh, the lop it. <laughs> it's nice having you guys out here. I know before it's kind of been, we've kind of been split up this season and stuff, and so it's been nice having. It's been driving me nuts. Yeah. Like knowing that we've been split up, it kind of hurts my heart a little bit. I know, usually we're always the ones giving each other uh, crap and stuff, or sorry, giving each other. Uh, hugs. Yeah, hugs. Verbal hugs. Yep, yeah. and so yeah, it's just nice to come back and finish out this project. You love this, don't you? Oh, oh yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Nice little wink in there. But yeah, so as I was saying, we're gonna finish hogging <laughs> this pond out and uh, get our fabric liner fabric in, and then we'll call it a day, and then tomorrow we'll be able to sling some rocks do you, in. Do you think hogs get offended when you say hog this out like swine i don't i mean maybe their feelings get hurt i think we should go find one and ask one you know i think i think it'd be cooler to call it like bald eagle this thing because those are a cooler animal than hogs it will taste as good but they're cooler well it looks like this season there's going to be a different vocabulary from us That's a wrap. What an incredible project. I mean, it literally feels like you're in a water park and you know it's always a huge success when part of your team is just sitting down staring at what they've created. Jack and Jack. So easy that both of you guys have the same name. Yeah. Tell me, to, you know, one of you guys, what's your favorite part? The waterfall we built, the two of us. The wetland, big extension, obviously improves everything, but uh, that I don't know if it's the height, the big waterfall, but I love the way this left-hand side turned out. I think we nailed it, so nice job. Yeah, I can agree. That left side, Jack and I were kind of the lead on that, and it turned out, I'm not saying this is because we did it, I'm just saying we had the most fun on that side, and it just turned out awesome. Like, we saw these two rocks as soon as we started the project, and we knew that immediately that those two were gonna be a waterfall rock, and it turned out incredible. I'm so happy how it turned out. I'm not saying that I don't like the 8x11 pond. I love that side, too. It just turned out how intricate and how small of a space 
space that that area is, but how big of an impact it actually created up there turned out amazing. I'll have to say this is definitely one of a kind water features. Yeah. We've built a lot of water features over the years, but Al, the customer here said he wanted to be surrounded by water. He said they never vacation. When they vacation, they come down here, they do exactly what the two of you guys are doing, just kind of sitting back and yep. relaxing. <laughs> and he said, we haven't vacationed in years and we don't plan on vacationing. When we vacation, we sit down here and I just want it to be over the top. And it's over the top. I think we accomplished that and it's <laughs> loud. We have on this feature, we have three five to nines powering all three of these waterfalls. We have one powering the wetland and the waterfall on the left-hand side. We have one powering that eight by 11 pond up top. And then we have another five to nine powering this waterfall. And then a secret waterfall tucked away in the corner facing towards the house. So there's a lot of water coming into this space down here. So three five to nine solid handling pumps, adjustable flow. They're all pushing their max all, right They're all now. set at 10. And then we have a two to four that sits inside of a skimmer box that just feeds some jets. So yeah. some major, major circulation on this. You can see the existing water feature, waterfall over here, but there's the original. And one of my biggest concerns was making sure everything was gonna match. Just the style that we had, you know, 10 years ago. And I think we pulled it off pretty good. So here's the new one. And it looks amazing. Believe it or not, there's an eight by 11 pond right in there. And then here's the one that the Jacks are still staring at with some goopy grins on their faces. <laughs> yeah, we are. But look at that, this incredible, big giant drop. And of course, all of this is gonna look so much more amazing when all the plants come in. And our good friends from Wasco Nursery are gonna come out here and decorate this baby up and get it all perfect. So we still have a couple of little things to do. We gotta get some permanent electric run. So we we don't have all these extension cords running all over the place, but we'll get out here, we'll get the electrician out here, get some extension cords. I think my favorite part is always how interactive it is. Super informal stone steps, and this is just the coolest step ever. The way it kind of like comes down into the stream bed here. So super informal stone steps. You can come back this way, go down his existing pathway, come back, look off into the distance, get a great view of the pond from up in here, and then we have some really informal stone steps over in here and this is really what they were looking for just something a little bit more rustic so here's that new waterfall 8 by 11 pond sitting in here two feet deep plenty deep enough for some fish and stuff and then look at these cool steps coming across taking you out into the rest of the yard where everything looks fantastic amazing it's just gonna be so awesome when it's all planted up so let's do this let's take you guys on a little tour throughout the whole thing and then i promise we'll get back out here and show you what this thing looks like all planted up you guys just hold on for that video you guys know the routine like comment subscribe tell everybody you possibly know that this is fun and we'll keep doing it again any last words Pond hope you on. guys enjoy, enjoy Pond it on. subscribe <laughs> see you next time bye